Hi, Ray Sievert with Tracy Technologies. Today we're going to talk about accommodation, how you measure it with the eye trace, what it shows you. We're going to start with a younger patient and we're going to look at this as their distance refraction. Maybe you knew this, maybe you didn't. The eye trace is the only device in the world that allows you to look through it at an infinity target, take an auto refraction, and then have a reading card held up in front of the patient and take a second refraction. So in this case, we have a distance exam and a near exam, and we're going to compare the two. So let's take a look. So this is the lasers going into the eye, a tight cluster on the retina. This is a one by one of the macula, and that shows us that the patient is near plano. It also shows us that his spherical aberration is a little bit plus, but close to nothing. So when you compare that to his reading exam, well, it's a very different pattern, isn't it? These lasers go in now, and now they land with about a two diopter or two and a half diopter minus. So typically what happens in accommodation is you have a sphere shift. The eye is capable of creating extra minus, two and a half, three and a half, four diopters. It's really incredible in the young eye what the patient can do to sort of have this zoom lens. And so in this case, they now have spherical aberration on the minus. So when you have negative spherical aberration, it's indicative that the patient is accommodating. So if you're concerned uh, as a LASIK surgeon about whether you're getting a very good refraction uh, before you cycloplege, look for the internal lenticular, and if it has negative spherical aberration, the patient is accommodating. So let's look at how we normally compare these two. When you compare this reading to FAR, what you'll see is a 3D representation of when the patient's reading, they can get almost three, three and a half diopters, and when they're looking at distance, there's the Plano in the green, but they can actually get to about a plus one. So there's almost four diopters range of focus. But when you look at a straight subtraction of their refraction, it only says they get 2.75. Hey, what's going on, Ray? What's happening here? Well, this is considered the true accommodation. Let's take a look at what else we can look at. When you look at depth of focus, you'll see a little bit why their true accommodation and their total range of focus don't match. It's something called pseudo accommodation, which a lot of people don't understand. But when you look at the depth of focus curve, it will make a little more sense. So this blue curve is when the patient's reading. You see that they're at about a minus two and a half. This is when they're looking in the infinity in the distance, and you can see they're about a plus a quarter. When you compare this range of focus to this range of focus in the natural accommodative state, the patient can get from this peak to this peak easily. How much is that? That's 275. That's called true accommodation. This overlap from the peak on this side and from the peak on that side establish their actual range of focus. So this overlap or the difference between four and a quarter and 275 is called pseudo accommodation. So this is the area of focus that is usable before they get unacceptable blur. So some people don't understand these terms. What is pseudo accommodation? What is true accommodation? Uh, how do you compare distance to near? Well, it's a little bit complex, but it's a lot of fun to think about. It's an optical conundrum, and it's part of what manufacturers are trying to accomplish when patients become presbyopic. They've lost that zoom, and they need to do something. And so you can actually begin to understand how different lenses work in the eye, how much depth of focus they give you, uh, whether the patient gets any real accommodative effort out of some of these lenses. And uh, it'll, it'll be interesting, I'm sure. But one thing to note, the eye trace is the only device in the world that does this. It measures high order aberration, refraction change, depth of focus, all in a distance versus near state. So when you think about accommodation, the eye trace is your go-to machine. The FDA in the U.S. uses that. It's the only real objective measure of accommodation. And so most of the manufacturers are very aware of this device. And uh, so they're using it to try to figure out how to accomplish uh, presbyopic correction. So thank you. I hope this helps your understanding of accommodation and how the eye trace looks at this. Thank you.